In this exercise, we're going to look at lossy compression. So here we've got an image which just says hi, and it's made up of basic grey and red squares. So if we wanted to compress it, we could take squares. So we could take this grey square here and say, is it made up of grey or red? Well, the answer is, of course, it's made up of mostly grey. So we change that to just one grey square. Obviously, this square here has all red, so we change that to a red square. And we can do that throughout. Where problems occur is at the edges where you may have, for example, a square which has two red and two grey, in which case you have to make a decision as to whether it would be red or grey. And in this case, we would make that red. So we're going to have a look at see what happens next. And this is the resultant image. And as you can see, we've got less squares. We've now got eight across and eight down as opposed to 16. And these are all individual squares, either red or grey. And we would save this now as grey, 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 grey. So there'd be eight Gs on the first row. The second row would be grey, red, grey, red, grey, red, grey, grey. And you can see how that would be, that file would be saved. So in fact, you've gone now from somewhere in the you know, 256 characters, either G or H, G or R, and we've cut that now down to only 64 characters. So obviously saved us space, but we have lost the definition of high. Try the exercise now and then see what happens if you try to further reduce this into a much smaller image of, say, a 4x4 four four 